morning everyone it's Courtney here and I apologize for the noise behind me I'm over in my studio and the um, AC is on which is much needed because it's very hot over here and I'm finally getting around to doing some videos on Miss Sydney Rose she is the doll that I the reborn doll that I'm going to be fixing up um, this is how well I mean her head was attached I did already remove her head because um, she was rooted already, but she had lost a lot of hair, and her new mommy wanted her to have darker hair. So um, I did remove her hair and the glue inside. And so now we are finally ready to start the reborning process. Um, I'm going to be leaving her current paintwork on and basically just be working over top of it to um, give it more depth and some details like she is missing some paint on her nails um, and then just some overall she doesn't really have any mottling or anything like that so we're just going to give her some depth uh, one thing i'm going to do is remove her eyes because her mom wants her to have some different eyes this is just i have no idea what you call this um, it's just a little spatula type tool I think people use it to like mix paints and stuff like that or or get paints out of jars <laughs> and all that uh, I believe I got it from Bountiful Baby several years ago but I've loved it as a great tool to get eyes out because um, you can still do it very gently whoever reborn her before um, I don't know if you can see down in there like that they basically um, I guess cut the eye sockets open, put the eyes in, and then uh, used paper towels to glue it in place. So I was undecided whether to just completely undo that and then just glue the eye sockets in place. In fact, I might just wind up doing that because that's it'll be a little bit nicer instead of having paper towels glued down in there. So if that's the case can actually pull the eye out from the back as you can see uh, right there where they cut the eye socket open and just stuck the eye down in that way so let me see about getting this off okay and then we'll just push the eye out from the bottom easy peasy there's nothing actually wrong with this eye. It's an acrylic eye. I believe it did come from Bountiful Baby. But it looks like they put some kind of um, gloss on it. And sometimes, some, I don't particularly like using that on eyes because it can eventually put like a, a film over, over top. And it just winds up looking, I don't know, kind of messy and not as shiny. But um, we can get that off and reuse it at some point. But I did order her some glass eyes. So that's what I'll be replacing these with. So I can get this paper towel off. I don't recommend using paper towels to glue anything down because they do disintegrate over time. So. All I'm doing is just getting the paper towel <laughs> off from around and then get that out that way there we go that should do it yep whoops and then there's the other eye again covered with a little bit of sticky film which I can I probably can get off I may use it later if need be but there's that for now I took her eyes out because I'm going to be doing a layer of matte varnish before I start painting and if that gets on the eyes it kind of has the same thing it just puts this really gross film on it that's hard to get off so okay they're not cut open all the way which is really good um, and since they are open in the back I can quickly try on glass eyes that I got so let me get out let's see these are these are size 22 okay, these are brown I'm gonna give her some gray ones so 
let's try these out and see how they work. See how these will work. They were out, they're out of stock of a lot of these when I ordered last time. So let's just see how the 22 millimeter works. So. Oh yeah, they work really nice. I actually really, really like um, the fullness of her uh, pupil iris down in there. It's a good ratio. I'm just going to try these on and I'm going to take these out because they're not going to stay in place anyway. They're really open in the back. And, oh yeah, those are really cute. Can you see that? Oh, I love it. That already looks so, so nice. So these are the eyes that I'm going to save for her then. Let me quickly pop these back out. Okay. And I'll set these to the side so that they will be for her. And then we're going to explore what's in her body. So this is what she came in. And she feels like she has no weight in her whatsoever. She's very, very, very light. So we're going to make her feel a little bit more real when we're all done. Um, put these eyes in here. And I'll keep them in her box. I've been keeping all her stuff together. Like, I got her a new body and all that, so... That's in there with her. Alright, so um, let's explore the arms a little bit. Air conditioner just got louder. It's always fun. In case she does have some glass beads down in there. This polyfill is not the best quality stuff. It's, um, so I'm not even going to keep it. I'm just going to trash it. Oh, look at there. She has a teeny, 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 tiny bag of glass beads. <laughs> uh, she might have one more. Yeah, another teeny, teeny, tiny. This probably in total weighs maybe two pounds. Yeah, I, no more than two pounds. So I'm going to toss this because we're going to give her some nicer stuff. And... Let's see what her, um, my favorite tool in the world, <laughs> one of my favorite tools, reborning eels. Let me get it. Uh, my, um, oops, <laughs> box just fell over. What do you call these? Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, Oh my goodness, really? I mean, they like, they use them for clamping, so like, because when you do this, you can't pull them apart. I forgot what they're called. Anyway, I use this all the time for uh, digging stuff out of vinyl and all that fun stuff. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Literally just digging in here and getting the polyfill out. Getting close to the glass beads. I don't want them to go everywhere, so being really gentle getting this out. The glass beads in the bag seem like good quality. It's like she just didn't use very much of it. Let me take a look at it real quick. Boop. Come on. Oh yeah, so this these are actually really good quality glass beads. Um, they're not like shavings where they're just like lots of multi-size. Probably can't even see that. Well, I guess you can. But they're actually like little teeny, teeny, tiny beads. They, like they actually roll under your finger. And that's what I use. So um, kudos to her artist. She did use good quality beads. I mean, overall, to me... Um, even when, like, when I first received her to look her over, she looked like she was in good condition and everything. I will have to re-put some, um, polyfill, which I'm going to do right now, back inside so that the little glass bead remnants don't fall out when I'm trying to paint and all that fun stuff. 
because even if you wash this kit it's almost a, it's just such a pain to get the glass beads out once they've already been put in so um, I usually just stick the cotton pieces in there and then I can work around that as long as they're not sprinkling out all over the uh, the table when I'm trying to paint I'm usually good to go all right let's get this out Oops. That's a mistake that time. All right. You can't see off camera. I have a bucket of glass beads and I'm just shaking them and banging the kit against the side to get them to come out. And again, we're going to put a piece of polyfill just down inside there. I could just use the polyfill that came, um, came inside her body since I'm not going to reuse it, but that's all right. Yeah, overall she's not too bad um, the material that was used in her is actually um, decent the only thing I don't really like is the polyfill but sometimes you can't find a polyfill that you would like to work with so there's some polyfill that you can get out there that says premium and it seems really nice and super soft but over time it gets really clumpy and so even though initially it'll feel really nice um after not long at all it gets clumpy and you can feel it within the body getting clumpy and so I, I really dislike it um, so now I actually just tend to use normal polyfill and it works very nice so there we go I also do use angel soft too though which is a really 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 soft oh I got glass beads on here I'll have to get up But the Angel Soft is super nice. I use it inside the tummy area to make it nice and plush. It makes them all cuddly. I'll save this to stick inside the leg. Alright. Here we go. So I'm going to put this polyfill back in again so it doesn't leak everywhere and um, I'm going to very quickly clean up this area I have a bag for acrylic eyeballs so just stick them all in here and then we're going to get her on over to the table well that's hers to um, give her some a thin layer of matte varnish so I'm going to bring you guys over so you can watch me do that with her thank you so much for watching if you like what you saw maybe take a second to hit the subscribe button if you want to that is no pressure but if you decide to do so there's also a bell notification right next to that subscribe button you can't miss it that way you will always get notified every time I upload a video. Again, that's also extremely optional. No pressure. But we have fun here, so it can't hurt, right? Ha ha ha. Courtney out.